<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the podcast Never Sleeps. I'm your host, Killer Cam, a.k.a. Cam, a.k.a. Trip Boy. And with me always is the awesome, smart, talented, handsome, cool, and charming, mm. Ja Rizarecta. Hey, happy to be here. There As he always, is. always, missed you all, missed you all. So we got a real fun show planned for these people, dude. Oh, man, is this going to be a good one? I think so. Yeah, I, there's so much cool stuff. So I say we hop right into the freaking Marvel Minute. Marvel Minute, baby, let's am, do it. Am I crazy? This is going to be a fun one, too. Yeah, it's going to be exciting. So guys, we have something special for the Marvel Minute. Iron Man. Every time that he comes across a problem. So when he first got kidnapped, he's like, all right, I need to build a suit of armor. I need to... Out of missile parts. uh, Yeah. I need to to escape from this cave. It was out of pure necessity, right? Mm -hmm. And then even the arc reactor was to keep his heart going. Yeah. Keep the shrapnel out of his heart. So (sighs) then out of pure necessity. But then every subsequent suit filled in a little gap, filled in, uh uh-oh, and sometimes, actually, physically a gap. Oh, so much cool stuff. But, yeah, uh, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh, a little yeah. Uh, Easter egg. A little Easter egg. What's to come? But uh, yeah, literally. Uh, so he would take his armor, he would take his suits, and he would upgrade them. Oh, yeah. this is a problem that I faced. This is the solution. A man that learns from his mistakes, for sure. Mm-hmm. And it's not, uh, it's never, like, the attention is never drawn to it, right? It never says, nope. it doesn't, like, Oh, thank God I learned from that mistake, and now right. I have these. They don't yeah, treat never us like that. we're idiots. Uh, no. But if you are paying attention and you're a real fan, you might already have seen some of these. Um, but, yeah. But if you're a fake fan. Yeah, you maybe this will be shit. new to you, some of these. Or at least creative ways to, to show it. But, yeah, as Cameron was saying, uh, Iron Man always finds a way to fix whatever the problem was from the previous films. But we've got a little uh, visual aid for we this. We do. Let's start. Let's see what problems he came across and yep. how he fixed them. First, the icing problem, right? Mm-hmm. So he he was going up in high altitudes, and he realized, okay, it gets so cold up here that we get an icing problem. Right. He wanted so, to push it. How high can I go? How can I, yeah. how can I go? How high can I and go? And the higher you go, the colder it gets. Uh, Hence. Yeah. So what did he do? <laughs> yeah, he's falling out of the sky. He got I love that. gold titanium alloy. Right. As that opposed to what he, what he was using before. Yep. And he even used that against Iron Monger. And he's like, do you ever work out that icing problem? He's like, yeah. what icing problem? And doo, think. Doo, doo. <laughs> yeah. I, I think we yeah. have that scene. It's literally too. right Boom. here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And this is an example of an upgrade he did in the same film. Yep. That's not usually the case uh, with all of these. Usually the subsequent film will show it. Yeah. For example, Whiplash. Yeah. His electricity was screwing up his suit, making him all messed up, interfering with it, interfering yeah. with the it would interface. shut down systems. He wasn't, yeah, fully operational. Yep. I think, yeah, it shows it right here. Look, everything's going Everything's off. going haywire. Yeah. And so what did he do? He upgraded it so that... No, we'll see. Yeah. Whiplash well, really get to him here. Yeah, both of them. Uh, yeah. Both suits had that uh, had the electricity problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which makes sense. And, and you up. wouldn't plan for something like this. You wouldn't expect someone else would have the power of an arc reactor. And that's to use the great thing you. about these yeah. is that, oh, of course he wouldn't plan for somebody with an electric whip. <laughs> yeah. That's but a it happens, weapon. right? What a and psycho. Then, and so now, yeah, he's got them both by the throat. Yeah. So what do they do? He made his suit be able to absorb electricity. Right. And make it so that when Thor strikes him with that lightning, they never say a, anything about it. No, they don't say, "Oh, I'm glad I fixed the electricity glad, yeah. problem." They don't. I which you said yeah. like, earlier, they don't tack down to the audience. But like this that. is how we know he did. Is it from says, this scene here. Power it at four hundred percent. Four hundred percent. Well, look at that. Look at that. Whatever it is, <laughs> and, and look at even can the reuse it. Yep. Yeah. And then even the screen's brighter and everything. Yep. And then so before, yeah, he had to use his hands and feet. How annoying to stay when you're trying to hover like this all the time would yep. be frustrating as yep. hell. And so you lose one boot or right. something. Right. If something goes out or gets damaged, you're you can't even really fly that well. Yep. Uh-huh. And so what did he do? He added little back jets yeah. so he could just chill. And you can see it here yeah, from behind. Now he's yep. got a, yeah, something uh, behind him keeping him afloat. Yep. And he uses that through the rest of the films so he can, he can hover. Yep. So another issue was his helmet was gone. Stupid. Remember he'd take the face plate off? Yep. That's silly. Yeah. Um, so yeah, in Civil War, and, he finally fixes. And now, yeah, it just, it's a helmet that comes on much like yeah. Ant-Man's helmet later. Um, yeah. So cool. And I, I even uh, have it here where it Dude, comes this back on. Dude, this movie's so well, Civil War is just the greatest. Yeah. As soon as he's like, uh-oh. Oh, got yeah. It, yeah. So the Iron Legion. Yep. It proved to not be that great. It proved to be re- re- very reliant on Tony. If he wasn't controlling the suits, they were yeah. damn near useless. And even uh, when he when they were like coming to him, he was before he was jumping in. Yeah, that was crazy, too. Blow up into a thousand pieces. Yeah. Ju- so they were sort of useless. So he... 
had to fix that problem, right? Yeah, and uh, and he noticed, hey, <laughs> I can use my suits uh, remotely to yeah. fight. Like, I don't need to be in there. That was the only one that really did the job there. Yeah, he's the, the he's Igor awesome. one. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, he held. I up love the all the names: Red Snapper, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. they're all actually suits from the comics. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, every single and one. Red was Snapper an made egg. sense. Yeah, 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 all of them made sense. But so, yeah, proved to be very reliant on Tony himself. Right. You needed somebody in there. So what did he do? In Age of Ultron, they upgraded so that the Iron Legion was legit. It was Ultron bots before Ultron existed. Yeah, that's what Ultron took over. Yep. And so they were relied on nobody. They didn't need him. Sending the Iron Legion, them doing their own thing. Taking a... Taking a vat of Sokovian acid to yeah, the right? face. And I love that they fly into the A on the building. So and that's sick. Where and they that get opens up. Yeah. So ill. Stuff. Yeah. So ill. So, yeah. So, from the house party protocol comes the Iron Legion. Yep. What a legit so little clever. upgrade. Again, so not something they say. It's just we, ha- we notice. Yeah. And uh, one informs the other. And then this is the master the upgrade. The final upgrade. The upgrade of all upgrades. Before he the nanotech dies. suit. Mm-hmm. Uh, it fixes a bunch of things. We'll get it to them as they go. It fixes everything, yeah. uh, which is why he did it, for sure. Now it can appear around him, yep. right? So he doesn't need uh, any of these suits flying on him. Um, so fixes this. Yeah. So <laughs> Ant-Man was able to get into his armor. Way to fight. Yeah, here. I'm ready, Arrow guy. Let's go. Yeah. So good. <laughs> and yeah, so he sneaks in here, right? Mm-hmm. That's an issue. He's pulling cords. Oh, you're going to have to take this into the shop. Yeah. Who is speaking? <laughs> That's a great This dude. is your conscience. We haven't been talking a lot lately. And one other problem, he couldn't get to Rhodey in time. Nope. So what he did this, this was sort of twofold. Yeah. So to make sure this didn't happen to a friend again, he added a parachute into, into Spider-Man's costume mm-hmm. when he made it for him. And then he also added the rocket boosters and the nanotech so he can get there faster so he would have been able to catch Rhodey. Yeah. As opposed to letting Rhodey him. Rhodey wouldn't have uh, hit the fall. ground if he would have had this upgrade. And the upgrade's in here. Look yeah. at this thing. There it is. Look at that. Ow. And then, of course, this. Yeah. So he was using the shield. And it was part of the nanotech, mm-hmm. but it was taking the nanotech and destroying it, so he wasn't able to rebuild his suit. Right. So he did a hollow shield, and that's the final version. It's still nanotech, but that final suit with the gold arms in it's Endgame. Like, it's funny because is it's my like, favorite one. yeah, it's my favorite too. Yeah. Same with the cap suit in Endgame is my favorite. It is because well, they're the, the closest scales. to the comics, while also being the movie ones. Oh yeah, in a because cool it way. has like the scales in in caps. Yeah. And then Iron Man has the straight gold. Like, oh, dude, arms. I know it's exactly the comics. It was so cool. I love that last suit. It so sucks. good. Um, but yeah, hey, in the chat, if you if we missed any good ones, uh, let us know or let us know what you think about that. Um, but it definitely goes into the vein of what we're talking about. Technology, yeah. extremely advanced technology being housed by one group or one person um, that can use it for their own deeds. Luckily, this guy's a hero and he used it to save the world like yes, 300 times. Which not everybody is. And yeah, not everybody uh, thinks that way, unfortunately, in unfortunately. the real world. Um, but yeah, uh, I liked that. That was cool. Uh, we flew through it quickly. Probably should have paused a few times, but I, <laughs> I think it's... Uh, <laughs> we blew through I think it. we got the point. But- Hey guys, if you like that highlight for the full video, click right here. And for related content, click right here. And make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Love you guys. Laters.